Today I'm restoring a Pace Comet front vending machine, or what they call an FOK, that vends rolls of mints. And there's enough videos out there that show you how the real mechanism works. So what I'm going to do today is concentrate on just the mint vendor portion. So here is where a roll of mints will sit and then be vended to you. Currently, before we play the game, this arm is down and it's catching a wheel here with notches in it and it does not allow me to turn this handle. But as you play the game, this lever gets pushed downwards and it raises this which allows another lever behind here to fall forward and keep this up now so that it's no longer catching on that wheel and I can turn it. And what we've done here is taken a roll of mints from the column that's storing all of them and put it into position so that the next time we turn the handle we will vend. Every time you turn the handle, a roll of mints is vended, but on one turn it's happening from here, vending from that side, and the next turn it's vending from that side. So every turn it rotates back and forth between which side is going to vend mints. So here's a closer shot for you. Once I'm ready to vend these mints and this handle gets raised up, you'll see the other lever come through and hold it up in the air. Okay, well, that one went forward and now that keeps this off of this wheel so I can turn it and vend the mints and then drop back down into position to hold it from going any further. The jackpot mechanism on this Pace Comet has two different doors. It's a dual jackpot so the nickels are on the other side of this door and uh, this mechanism down here is kind of neat it toggles back and forth between letting one door or the other open up the jackpot is triggered when the mechanism pushes down on this lever and that lets one door open the next time you pull the handle to spin the reels next time you play it it closes that door and this flips to the other side so that the next time it gets pushed up it's going to trip this door open and then you play the game and you reset and it gets ready by flipping over to do the other door so it's a sequence of back and forth to dispense both jackpots the jackpots are filled by this chute and there's a series of flaps here and here which are on the back side of this so that as we put in nickels as you play the game nickel falls down and starts filling up this first jackpot and then once the jackpot is completely filled up and the nickels start piling up and backing up here they'll press against this lever which then causes this edge to fall into the position to where the next nickel will no longer fall past it but it will ride across the top and start going down this way and filling up this jackpot. So it's this little ledge becomes part of the bottom of this chute. Nickels will then continue to roll on and start filling up this. Then when you fill up this whole jackpot, nickels will come up here and push this forward so that they close this off and then you have the next nickel sitting right here and when the next nickel sits on this and pushes this lever out it moves this forward and now all future nickels will fall past and right on down into your coin box and that's the house's take. So now I'm looking at the front of the machine with the front face off where you load the mints in and the levers I was just showing you that fill up the jackpot if you look down in here this is the top of that last lever I was showing you and there's one additional lever or flag off to the side here and when this gets pushed in 
it activates that lever to keep coins from filling up the jackpot uh, just as if there was coins in here when the jackpot is full then as I was just showing you this lever would prevent coins from going towards the jackpot well this little flag here sticking out it prevents coins also from going to the jackpot and this extra flag or this extra paddle here that's off to the side it's activated by this rotating disc so when nickels fall in and rotate you notice that there's a ledge here an angled piece and there's six positions for the coins but there's only five ledges and then this one right here doesn't have a ledge on it so what that all does is every time this rotates as you play the game the nickel that's leaving this disc and falling downwards because we're riding on a ledge or, th or this wedge at an angle five times we push this forward five times and five times we prevent a nickel from going towards the jackpot but one time in six right here as this goes past there's no ledge there so it doesn't push on this flag which means a nickel that falls out of here is allowed to go this way so what that all does is say that one out of every six nickels is diverted towards the jackpot when it needs to fill up that way you're not continuing taking every single nickel and filling up the jackpot quickly the way the machine was designed they only wanted one in every six nickels to go this way and all the rest would either fill up the coin tube in the main mech or go to the house to the cash box and we'll play a whole cycle here so you can see how the nickel rolls stops right there and that's where the pin is behind it to see if you do have a coin in place before you can pull the handle pulling the handle will cause this lever to push the nickel down into that rotating disc here is the finished machine all restored Two cherries, paid off two nickels, and I get my roll of mints. This machine has the fortune telling real strips on it, so let's see what my fortune says. Your face is your fortune, Hollywood calls you. But beware of dark men, they'll want to shine your shoes. <laughs> That's a bit racist. And so be nice to everybody, even if you have to be polite. I've got this machine coined up and in the middle of a cycle I've stopped the clock motor and adjusted the reel so we're set to pay the big jackpot which will pay 20 coins plus one of these two jackpot windows. So let's release the clock motor and watch what happens. Jackpot. The very next play will close the jackpot door and allow that to start filling back up again. And finally a view of the case after being restored. And that's the 30s Vintage Pace Comet. Thanks for watching and have a great day. For more information, visit GameRoomRepair.com.